In the 30 years since graffiti arrived from the USA in books, films and music videos, Bristol has consistently been a vibrant and fertile breeding ground for graffiti writers and street artists of every persuasion. With a Bristol graffiti and street art scene going where no other UK city has gone before. So Bristol's pretty much recognised as the uh, street art capital of, uh, of the UK. Um, it's been that way oh, pretty much from, from day dot, and most probably because of the history here. Um, they had a uh, long-standing sort of like relationship with the underground music scene. The Godfathers um, of sort of like the scene, like 3D um, and uh, Felix and, and and those guys that were putting you know the initial throw-ups or wild styles uh, with the Wild Bunch. Uh, out on the streets of Bristol. So back in 2008, um, we were trying to get involved in like the creative scene within Bristol, and uh, it was all a little bit sort of like clicky. So a few of my friends, uh, we decided to, to to do our own thing. Um, I guess it sort of it goes back right to sort of like school and doodling and uh, some of the sort of like Tony Hart, some of the sort of like the, the art on TV and stuff that kind of sort of like got you going. I went off to university and did the kind of normal sort of job thing. Um, luckily, um, I came came back to, uh, to to do Lynn and a bit of painting. Don't actually do very much now um, because we spend most of our time organising other artists uh, and the festival. So back in 2008, uh, I was going to invite 15 friends just to have a bit of a paint um, at a local pub. Uh, I got made redundant from a job that I was in as an insurance compliance manager. Uh, twice in a row and a friend of mine went well why don't you uh, why don't you invite a few more people to, to, to your little gathering and we did we invited 50 we had about 500 people turn up on a Sunday afternoon at the tobacco factory uh, from then onwards it, it just grew it just grew and grew and the next year we had a hundred artists um, about a thousand people a year after that 150 artists and about 5,000 people and since then it's just uh, it's just spiraled so uh, back in 2013 which was the last time we did the festival had 25,000 people and uh, for a three-day event over the bank holiday weekend with in excess of 250 artists from about 15 different countries coming up this year in 2015 uh, we're coming back once again it'll be in excess of 250 artists we've got artists coming from over 25 countries uh, 100 artists travelling from across the world uh, to the festival, uh, expecting in excess of 30,000 people as long as the sun shines with us. Um, and uh, yeah, for a free free festival, painting walls down the street, buildings, uh, lots of temporary services, about 30,000 square foot temporary service goes up around the area uh, in order to accommodate uh, all the artists which have come over for the weekend. Have a few tunes and uh, a few drinks and uh, have a great weekend. So uh, in order to help fund the festival um, we ask artists to bring artwork uh, to the festival and we sell it on sort of like a commission basis to help sort of fund the festival and also give the artists a uh, chance of getting some money back that they've spent in, in, in coming over. Uh, back in 2009 the, the, the artwork that we received we were so overwhelmed with um, that we managed to get a small space in a different area of Bristol in St Paul's had a temporary gallery there for about a year um, and then had the opportunity to bring the gallery over to the area where we have the festival which is where we've been for the last five years uh, here on North Street in Bedminster. In order to exhibit in the gallery there's one requirement that you've come and you've painted at the festival. Now, once you've painted at the festival you can then leave us with artwork into whether it's in our print racks or whether you're invited into a group exhibition um, or whether that then goes on and actually we do a, a solo exhibition with you. We've done exhibitions with, um, with artists from all around the world. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, the, the gallery definitely came because of the festival, um, but it's now used as our sort of like, as our headquarters, um, as a base from where we work from, um, and just makes up just a, just a small part of, uh, of the Art Fest organisation. Such is the profile of the city scene that you will find it mentioned in the publicity material sent out to attract students, corporations and professionals to Bristol. In marketing parlance, it's essentially become Bristol's unique selling point. In 1986, at the very beginnings of graffiti culture, having just arrived in the UK from New York, 
somebody who worked with Way of the Wall called John Nation. At the Barton Hill Youth Centre, he created an environment where the artist could go along and paint off the street in a legal environment. And this is where the first generation of Bristol graffiti writers learned to paint. A number of years later, a young 16-year-old came along who was soon to emerge as the artist Banksy. He is seen as a second generation of artists and now in Bristol we're moving on to the third and fourth generations of artists. So street art and graffiti in Bristol is so huge because the culture goes back over 30 years and it is unlike any other part of the UK where the culture goes back for so long. We are promoters of the art form and we started two years ago with the motivation of publicising and promoting Bristol graffiti writers and street artists to a wider audience. Bristol Street Art Tours is a two hour guided walk through the city centre of Bristol where there are works by Banksy, Inky, Chio and a number of other Bristol street artists plus art by international artists who came to Bristol in 2011 and 2012 and left a number of large-scale murals in the central area of Bristol. We then meander into the independent creative centre of Bristol called Stokescroft where the walls are changing on almost a daily basis. But via the guided walks we take them into this area which is Bristol's creative centre with art galleries and a lot of artists working in the area. All of the guides on the tours are artists themselves, practicing, working artists. So by coming on the tour you get an insight into the techniques that the artists use in order to achieve the amazing artwork that you see during the tour. From reverse graffiti or clean graffiti, to stencil artwork, to street art, to graffiti writing that Bristol seems to have a very unique take on. It is the self-proclaimed vandals or graffiti outlaws who give Bristol's globally renowned scene its age, its badge of authenticity as a home to subculture. The story of Bristol's diverse and dynamic graffiti and street art scene is in the words and works of its graffiti writers and street artists. Uh, I think I started painting when I was about 16 and didn't really do it that seriously for a while, kind of dipped in and out because I was busy doing other things. Uh, so probably started painting properly around 2000. Inspiration comes from all sorts of things. Again, it's not something I seek out. It's, I guess it's something that happens subconsciously. Uh, I paint people, so I guess it makes sense that people and the things that they do and how they act are, is the main inspiration for me. The label of graffiti artist sometimes doesn't necessarily apply to me, and that's fine. I just enjoy doing the things I do. I like to paint on walls and in galleries and on paper, and I, it's, the, it's the drawing is, is the main root of it all. I like to draw on paper, on canvases, on walls, uh, on the computer as well. So yeah, I like to mix it up. I think it gets a bit boring if you do all of if you do one thing too much too often. It's kind of nice to keep it varied, to keep it interesting. The relation with art and music in Bristol I think is strong because it appeals to similar people and I mean I do both those things and I know a lot of people that also do the same. Uh, I don't know why that is, I guess it's just a form of expression, both those things are a form of expression that are kind of, I don't know, they just go back a long way together, the kind of, the, the hip hop and the punk scene in Bristol has always been kind of linked, so I guess that kind of has always gone together and obviously gra graffiti came from the kind of hip-hop side and it still is but then there's also that sort of the punk roots in Bristol and that sort of bleeds into graffiti and what's what that's all about as well so Bristol's unique in terms of street art I think because a lot of people are very uh, accepting of it and encouraging and there's a lot of people that support the scene and help out the artists and uh, generally all the artists really in Bristol it's a pretty chilled out scene and everyone seems to get along. It's unique I think because it's quite varied as well and everyone does their own thing uh, and the work's pretty good. It's, it's you know it varies, it's a lot of different stuff and it's sort of quite a high standard which is always good to kind of keep moving things forward and inspiring 
new artists to try and push themselves and also to keep the artists that have been doing it a long time, it keeps them on their toes and they have to constantly keep progressing as well.